hello guys and welcome back so for today i will have to repair this uh, fiberglass roofing right here which it went bad after about four or five years now this roof here was done four or five years ago but it was done with ply instead of osb now you should know that ply is going to delaminate in time due to the different weather conditions it's uh, not going to stay as it is and once that is going to start to delaminate um, all the fiberglass is going to push be pushed away from uh, from the actual ply and it's going to form some bubbles inside and when we step on them it's just going to be like uh, lumps and uh, those are going to break in time form some holes in them and then you are going to get some leaks inside your house so that's why we need to be very careful when we do this type of roof um, now there is more than one problem on this roof right here and uh, yeah uh, one of the problems is that uh, doesn't have enough slope and um, it's uh, a little bit bent in the middle and that is holding a lot of water on on the actual roof so i will have to repair even that maybe make a little bit more slope and uh, drive the water away from from this roof right here at the moment uh, right on this side here it's it's sitting around uh, 100 liters of water i came after a rainy day i just came out and i put all the water that i could find here in in some buckets and i got about four or five buckets of uh, 25 liters and that is a lot of water that is sitting on a flat roof so uh, yeah i will have to do something about that and also um, we don't have enough uh, air ventilation gap underneath this uh, this ply so that means um, we don't have enough air ventilation in between the ply and the insulation which is underneath the fiberglass uh, underneath the roof so uh, yeah probably i will have to actually not probably i will have to change all that insulation because at this point it's a little bit smelly uh, because all of all that uh, condensation it started to have some um, some mold in it and the smell is starting to go inside the house uh, i will have to be quite fast about this job because the weather condition is not going to allow me to stay too much uh, right here and once that i'm going to take everything out um, if some uh, rain is going to come um, all the ceiling underneath this is going to get uh, destroyed uh, I'm trying all the time to avoid this type of job uh, because once that you start to rip everything from above uh, some cracks um, are going to appear underneath uh, this, uh, this roof right here so what I mean the plasterboard is going to start to crack and then we will need to do some repairs on those and uh, paint and small other bits and pieces like that so i'm trying to avoid this type of work uh, all the time but uh, yes on this one uh, i will have to be quite careful about it and uh, do my best not to do a lot of damage so all right guys at this point i think we are ready to do this so let's start breaking
Hey guys, so here we go. Uh, I finished everything. I have ripped off everything and now we can see better what is behind. You can see that area over there. It's a lot of mold. Uh, I will have to check that. Maybe I'm going to replace it. Uh, now the insulation right here is quite good. It's uh, a Kingspan insulation from Cold Term. This is uh, an insulation is, that is quite expensive uh, if I'm not wrong a board like this is going to go around 150 pound and you cannot find it in the shops uh, or at least I couldn't and uh, yeah you can find it online uh, usually we can find everywhere that type of insulation right there which uh, is not going to do the same job like this one this is the best that it is out there but of course like i was saying it's not going to do the job because it wasn't uh, installed properly you have loads of gaps everywhere so right now i'm just going to try to repair as much as i can and where i cannot repair i'm just going to take it off and replace it with some of that over there and uh, yeah I can't do, uh, I cannot um, actually change everything because I have even a lot of electrics going around. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do my best to work with what I have and to be on the budget. Now, if you ask me, I would have taken everything out and even put a little bit more insulation inside. But we cannot go too high because uh, this is a loft conversion and we have to stay uh, more or less on the same height with other houses. So we cannot go above the reach too much. Uh, if I'm not wrong, we can go around 150 mil above the ridges. And you can see the height of the ridge right there. So uh, yeah, we cannot go too high. Uh, because then it's going to look awkward and uh, we are going to have uh, some problems maybe with the um, council building control and so on so i'm just going to try to keep it as it is uh, not modifying it uh, too much because then we are going to be in trouble so uh, yeah now um, i was going around this area and i saw the the council right here is doing some sort of regeneration project and is lifting all the all the roofs uh, a little bit higher with about uh, 60 centimeters or so so that is quite a lot but probably they can do it uh, we cannot because we don't do the we don't make the rules so whoever makes the rules always can do whatever they want and of course they are always going to use uh, a lot of excuses like let's be environmentally friendly and uh, safe and this and that but when we have to do our own properties um, we cannot do much about it so we cannot find against that if we want to go with the roof a little bit higher just because we don't have enough headspace or we want to put more insulation in then we get in trouble now i'm not going to go into politics too much uh, i'm just going to try my best right here uh, to lose uh, less heat as possible to make it watertight and airtight and uh, hopefully i'm not going to have any condensation after i will finish uh, with this job uh, so yeah let's just crack on Thank <laughs> you. 
this, by the way, is not going to do nothing. So that is like no insulation. Don't bother to put it.
Yay! Very, very nice. It's raining, just my luck. Look at that. That is terrible. That's rising. Let's have a break. And we are back. And that's it for tonight. Nice! Uh.